Let's talk about the rules for manipulating enthalpy which form the basis of Hess's law. So enthalpy symbolized by delta H, uh, enthalpy of reaction may be represented as the enthalpy of the products minus the sum of the enthalpy of the reactants. Uh, delta H in calorimetry is also equal to the heat at constant pressure calorimetry. Okay, so a couple of equations that that we use, which of course equals MC delta T, so we can derive enthalpy through experiments and so forth. And so enthalpy is an additive property. So you can add two reactions and the sum of the two gives you a new reaction with new enthalpy. And so this is very close to Hess's law, okay, that statement. Um, another property that, that comes from this is like compounds on opposite sides of an equation arrow cancel out. So let's look at the fictional reaction, uh, decomposition reaction, say solid A decomposes into B which is a solid and maybe it emits a gas, um, bubbles off a gas C. And then we can say well B also further decomposes into some compound D which is a solid and some compound E which is also a solid. And so if we have enthalpy for each of these we've measured, say the first is an endothermic process and we have positive 10 kilojoules per mole, so endothermic. Okay, requires heat um, to be added to, to um, the, or the, the reaction draws in heat from the surroundings. Okay, so plus 10. For the second reaction, let's suppose it emits 15 kilojoules of heat in an exothermic process to the surroundings. Well, uh, Hess's law and, and the basis here for Hess's law says that if enthalpy is additive, then we can add these two equations together and cancel out things that are on opposite sides. So we see that B as a solid appears on both sides and so we really need to, to, to note that phase matters okay, for enthalpy. Okay, gases will tend to have more enthalpy in them than will solids and so forth. So we have to consider the, the phase. Phase matters. Now back to the addition. Well, we add A plus, well, B canceled out. So all we end up with the left side of the equation that we are adding together is just A. And so the new equation that we get ends up, and again, my alphabetical order is off, but we're okay because we can add these in any order. Uh, D plus C uh, plus E. Okay, and so we have a new equation whose delta H we also add. 10 plus negative 15 gives us a new reaction that has an enthalpy of negative 5 kilojoules per mole. It's also exothermic. Okay, so those are the first two properties that we look at. Another property that we need to know is that we can reverse a reaction and multiply that enthalpy by negative 1. So if we have the endothermic process that we just talked about, A decomposes into B plus C. If that delta H we just said was plus 10, well if we take the negative of that equation and the negative of the delta H as well, what we end up with is B so more appropriately saying reverse products and reactants if we get B plus C as a gas yields A so we've got the reverse reaction here's the forward reaction and then the reverse our delta H then gets multiplied by negative 1 and now we have negative 10. So this is an exothermic process whereas the forward reaction is an endothermic process. And the final thing before we get to Hess's law that we are allowed to multiply equation by, multiply the equation by a factor and we multiply the enthalpy by that same factor. So suppose we want to get the enthalpy of formation of a compound. Suppose A plus B the constituent elements give us 2C, okay? 
and the delta H of this process say is um, 100 kilojoules per mole negative okay so it's exothermic well we're allowed to say well one half times the equation is equal to one half times the enthalpy and so if these are elements if A and B are elements and one mole of C then that would be the delta H of formation of C we multiply by a half negative 50 kilojoules per mole so we can derive the heat of formation from a similar equation using a factor multiple okay alright so that gives us the basis for Hess's law and so let, in a careful restatement Hess's law just says that we can find the enthalpy of a new reaction that we have not tested in the laboratory um, using the enthalpy rules above to accomplish this okay from reactions that we do know and have measured carefully the enthalpy